Ever wondered how the shiny rust-resistant steel in your kitchen knife or favorite skyscraper is actually made. The journey of stainless steel is nothing short of industrial alchemy, transforming raw earth into an indestructible material that's literally holding our modern world together. From scorching blast furnaces reaching a blistering heat to precision engineering at the molecular level, we're about to witness the extraordinary birth of a material so revolutionary, it's used in everything from life-saving surgical tools to the International Space Station. You'll see massive factories where molten metal flows like lava. Learn why adding just 2% more chromium can double a product's lifespan and discover why a single manufacturing error could mean the difference between a bridge that stands for centuries or one that catastrophically fails. By the end of this video, you'll never look at your stainless steel appliances the same way again. If you're fascinated by how everyday materials are made, Hit that subscribe button right now and join our growing community of curious minds. Turn on notifications so you don't miss our upcoming videos exploring the hidden science behind the objects we use every day. The creation of stainless steel begins with gathering raw materials from the Earth's crust, particularly iron ore, the foundation of all steel production. Massive mining operations extract hundreds of millions of tons of iron ore annually, which contains only about 60 to 65% pure iron mixed with oxygen and other elements. This ore travels to specialized facilities where it undergoes primary processing in blast furnaces towering up to 10 stories high. Inside these industrial giants, iron ore mixes with limestone and coke, processed coal, this extreme heat triggers chemical reactions that separate pure iron from oxygen, creating molten iron that's collected at the bottom of the furnace. What makes this process particularly fascinating is the scale. A single modern blast furnace can produce up to 10,000 tons of molten iron daily, enough to make the frames for 6,000 cars. But this is just ordinary iron. The real magic happens when we transform it into stainless steel through the careful addition of specific alloying elements. The transformation from ordinary iron to corrosion-resistant stainless steel happens through the critical addition of chromium, the element that gives stainless its stainless property. In massive electric arc furnaces, recycled steel scrap and the molten iron from blast furnaces are combined with precisely measured amounts of ferrochrome, an alloy containing chromium. As temperatures reach a scorching 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, powerful electric currents arc between graphite electrodes, generating enough heat to melt everything into a homogeneous mixture. The minimum chromium content must reach 10.5% by weight, as this is the threshold where chromium's remarkable protective properties activate. What happens is genuinely miraculous at the molecular level. Chromium atoms at the surface react with oxygen in the air to form an invisible, self-healing chromium oxide layer just a few molecules thick. This microscopic shield prevents oxygen from reaching the iron beneath, stopping rust before it can start. It's so effective that if you scratch stainless steel, this protective layer reforms instantly, providing continuous protection for the lifetime of the product. Beyond chromium, Manufacturers add various elements to create hundreds of different stainless steel grades, each engineered for specific applications and environments. For surgical instruments and high-end kitchen knives, metallurgists add up to 14% to enhance cutting performance and resistance to chloride environments. Aerospace grades receive additions of titanium and niobium, which stabilize the material at extreme temperatures experienced during supersonic flight. The most corrosion-resistant varieties used in chemical processing contain up to 25% nickel, dramatically improving resistance to aggressive acids. These additions aren't random. Metallurgists use advanced computer modeling to predict exactly how each element will affect the final properties. The precision is remarkable. In some aerospace grades, nitrogen content is controlled to within 0.001%, because even tiny variations would compromise structural integrity. Once all elements are combined, the molten mixture undergoes argon oxygen decarburization, where gases are injected through the bottom of the vessel to remove carbon and other impurities, resulting in ultra pure stainless steel with precisely controlled chemistry. After achieving the perfect chemical composition, the molten stainless steel enters the continuous casting process where liquid metal transforms into solid form ready for further processing. 
The 2,800 Fahrenheit molten metal pours from the furnace into a tun dish, a reservoir that regulates flow, then descends into water-cooled copper molds where the outer shell solidifies while the center remains molten. This creates a continuous strand of semi-solid steel that's gradually withdrawn and completely solidified using water spray cooling. Machines then cut this strand into manageable slabs typically weighing between 10 to 30 tons each. The technology behind continuous casting is staggering. Computer systems analyze over 500 variables per second to maintain perfect thickness and internal structure. Any fluctuation in cooling rate could create microscopic defects that might cause catastrophic failure years later. This precision is critical because stainless steel is often used in applications where failure isn't an option. From artificial heart valves to nuclear waste containers designed to last 100,000 years. Once solidified, these massive slabs are ready for the transformative hot rolling process. The hot rolling mill is where brute force meets precision engineering, transforming thick steel slabs into sheets, plates, or bars with exactly the right dimensions. Before rolling, the stainless steel slabs are reheated to around 2,200 Fahrenheit in specialized furnaces, making them malleable enough for shaping. They then enter a series of rolling stands with massive steel rollers exerting up to 3,000 tons of pressure, gradually reducing thickness while increasing length. A typical 10-inch thick slab might extend from 30 feet to over 300 feet during this process. The extreme pressure doesn't just change dimensions, it actually improves the steel's microstructure by breaking down large crystal grains into finer ones, significantly increasing strength. Throughout rolling, sophisticated laser measurement systems continuously monitor thickness, ensuring perfect uniformity. After hot rolling, the steel undergoes annealing, a heat treatment process where it's heated and slowly cooled in a carefully controlled atmosphere. This relieves internal stresses, prevents warping, and gives the steel optimal mechanical properties. At this stage, the steel has the right shape and internal structure, but its surface still needs significant work. The final steps transform rough, oxidized steel into the gleaming, perfectly finished product we recognize as stainless steel. After hot rolling and annealing, the steel's surface is covered with a dark layer that must be removed through pickling. Immersion in a mixture of nitric and hydrofluoric acids that dissolves the oxides without damaging the steel beneath. Following acid treatment, the steel undergoes cold rolling, where it passes through precision rollers at room temperature, reducing thickness by up to 80%, while creating a smooth surface with precise dimensions. This process actually work hardens the material, increasing its strength by up to 50%. For the highest quality finishes used in architectural applications or medical equipment, the steel undergoes polishing using progressively finer abrasives, sometimes finishing with compounds containing particles just one micron in size, smaller than bacteria. The most advanced facilities use electropolishing, where an electric current removes microscopic surface irregularities, creating a finish so smooth that bacteria can't adhere to it, critical for surgical instruments. These finishing processes aren't just cosmetic, they enhance corrosion resistance by creating a more perfect surface for the protective chromium oxide layer to form. The journey from raw iron ore to gleaming stainless steel represents one of humanity's most impressive engineering achievements, a perfect marriage of chemistry, physics, and precision manufacturing. What began in 1913 as a laboratory curiosity has evolved into a material so fundamental to modern life that the average person interacts with it hundreds of times daily without even noticing. From the surgical tools that save lives to the food processing equipment that feeds billions, stainless steel has become the silent backbone of our civilization. The next time you see sunlight reflecting off a stainless steel building or pick up a stainless steel fork, remember the remarkable transformation that created it. How extreme temperatures, precise chemistry, and engineering expertise converted ordinary elements from the Earth's crust into a material that will still look perfect generations from now. In a world where most things are designed to be replaced, stainless steel stands as a rare example of something built to truly last, a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to transform the very elements of our planet into something extraordinary.